All right, well, I'm not sure where this video is going to go today, but I wanted to get something put together. I've got a lot of footage, but it's uh, it's kind of little bits of everything, and I'm just not getting different things finished to really complete a good video. Anyways, uh, here's um, this is for the underside of the uh, the the mast step uh, on top of the compression post. So just a, a little bit of a surface to spread the load out and connect back to the uh, to the sort of cockpit combing uh, around the uh, companionway. Uh, anyways, just laminated up uh, a little more than an inch thick and I'm just going to uh, coat it with uh, with some fairly light glass and uh, and epoxy just uh, for appearance but uh, to mostly to seal it up so that it's uh, it's nice and sealed and won't uh, take in any water. Alright, good. I think a couple of uh, pumps of epoxy will do. Epoxy is actually a little cold, so I'm going to let it warm up before I uh, put it on the glass. Right, I'm just going to stir that, stir that up well, and uh, got the stove on, so I'll uh, put it near the stove for a couple of minutes too, just to to warm up. Alright, we'll warm the uh, epoxy up so it's nice and runny. Pour some of that on. <coughs> Corners on this piece I beveled. I'm hoping it, uh, hope it's enough. So that the uh, glass will bend over the uh, the edges without uh, lifting. Encapsulated. Um, then I'm actually I'm going to cut some wire chases in the back of it so that uh, the spot to run the VHF uh, cable on the uh, mast light and uh, a little bit of other wiring that I can tuck up up in under behind it. Uh, don't know what else will be in this video. Uh, I got a little bit of electro uh, electrical that was done on the uh, on the breaker panel and uh, maybe a little bit of work on the uh, on the front hatch too. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks the sort of the main uh, sort of structural projects are will be wrapped up so it'll start to actually be more putting things together and uh, and working towards getting ready to uh, to repaint and uh, tidy up uh, loose ends but uh, it's coming slowly. 
It's a little too cold today to be doing any glass on the boat, so I uh, decided I'll tackle the ele electrical system. Kind of ripped everything out, kind of got a little bit of a head start on it. Uh, there's a bus bar that's not really a bus bar. Quite a bit of corrosion on that. The radio used to be up on here and it really took up a lot of space. And uh, it was kind of an awkward, awkward spot. So I'm going to actually move it, move it up on the top up here out of the way. It'll still be accessible. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Kind of working over on the other side too, strip that down. There wasn't a lot over there, but uh, I'm going to try to make better use of that space. Actually, uh, I think the chart, pl chart plotter is going to go there and on kind of a swivel bracket so it can swing out into the companionway or tuck, uh, tuck back inside. So, uh, get rid of this whole fuse block, uh, fuse panel, and I've got uh, replacement for it that are with breakers, a couple of them. Actually, because I have a, a few more circuits to add, and there was kind of some stuff doubled up before, so get everything kind of on its own circuit, a little easier to figure out, and get rid of some of the some of the mess. Oh, I got uh, that uh, switch panel changed out. It's a good thing. It was really, really pretty much done. Some of the the wiring was actually corroded right off and it would have been just causing problems so that's gone replaced it with two uh two banks of uh breakers so I have my uh I have a one of the switches here is set up just so i can turn the lights off and on if i uh need that switch at some point i can put the lights on a on a separate little switch uh so i've got a uh, switch for instruments from am fm radio Bilge pump, VHF radio. The AUX2 is the actually the uh, tiller pilot, autopilot. The uh, anchor light, running light, cabin light, uh, water pump, and uh, 12 volt uh, power, which should just be the uh, automotive plug-ins, and a fan, which is actually going to be for the toilet, and it'll. Uh, It'll be the fan and maybe some extra extra power there for a few things. So that went pretty well. Tidied the wire up a lot. Got rid of a, a lot of excess uh, wiring and uh, made some extra space. Pop the uh, VHF radio up top. I'll just have to mount the, uh, the mic. Uh, not too much else to do. I found while I was doing uh, pulling the wire out and everything, the... Uh, the wire up to the mast uh, masthead light was actually uh, done with speaker wire, so I'll have to redo that. Uh, and the light for the uh, the compass, I'll have to run power for that. Also, got a I, I have a feed taken off, but I got to run it across for the uh, the chart plotter. Otherwise, pretty much done. I a little little project that really wasn't uh, part of anything else but I got the uh, uh, mount for the chart plotter I don't know I'm gonna see how this goes I uh, I kinda hesitated to to mount the uh, the chart plotter kind of out here uh, just on that flat surface I I felt that was gonna be not very uh, good and then it left it always kind of out in the elements and exposed so I put it on a, a ram mount uh, so I can have it uh, in the companion way or I can set it further into the companion way at an angle so it's not uh, really uh, as much an obstacle to get past or I can put it right down inside either up high or down low so it, it works here uh, should be able to to reach it pretty much from the uh, tiller and then uh, it won't be hard to uh, put down. I will obviously put wrap this all up in a in a cable uh, cable cover of uh, of some sort when I have the transducer cable and uh, and everything hooked up as well. So with just the turn of a screw, I can uh, I can uh, have the uh, chart plotter uh, set down just above the uh, the quarter berth also, or I can lift it up a little bit higher and uh, and just have it more viewable. The uh, location for the uh, water pump. It was up under the sink, and uh, 
I think it was that it was quite a ways above the water line. The pump was uh, located up there, so I I don't think I think they were having problems with uh, with it uh, getting primed because uh, they had kind of a check valve hooked up and stuff. So I'm gonna locate it down down here. So it'll be closer to the water line. Uh, put a new seacock and uh, through hole in. Everything's just fit uh, uh, dry fit right now to get the layout for everything. That's where the intake for the uh, the toilet was, so that's all been pulled out. And I think uh, I was going to cover over the hole, but I think I'll I'll keep the uh, the through hole and uh, and use it for fresh water. So this will run up to the sink. It'll just be raw water. That's okay. Um, any drinking water, I'll uh, I'll have a, a container for that, anyways. Well, I'm down to the uh, last kind of structural repairs. I just uh, push the skin back up underneath the uh, deck on this side. There's a few really really short screws that just go part way through the core that uh, are. Uh, clamping it up into place and I'm just about to uh, do the other side now it's uh, woods all up there in place and uh, it's just been uh, coated with a nice thickened epoxy with a 404 and 410 filler and uh, so I'm just about to uh, put the mixture on the uh, in underside of the uh, Skin and then I, uh, I'll put that back up in place. So uh, that's uh, just about uh, where I'll leave this video. Uh, that'll be kind of the end of the, the main structural repairs on the boat. Um, I don't know, next, uh, next time I'll, uh, I'll have to see what the next video is going to bring. Pretty much uh, it for this week then. Nothing more satisfying than ripping peel ply off. Just kind of uh, resurfaced where the, the mast step will go. I will build it up probably a little bit more and then there's a uh, stainless steel plate that will go on top.